call it a bean, a seed, a nut. This treasure from the Tetropha plant has been found to yield more than 10 times the amount of oil as compared to corn. And best of all, it's not a food. Located in Desert Center, approximately 70 miles due east of Palm Springs, is a 320-acre proving ground. The purpose? To plant, propagate, and promote the promise of what some say is a miracle plant that may very well be a global petrol solution. The organization is appropriately named Farming Biodiesel Incorporated. Do you know what the acronym is? FBI Farms. To go out and call a green company FBI. First thing anyone thinks of, America's strength, stability, and enforcement. Hi, I'm Mike Reardon. Welcome to FBI Farms. Mike and the Chatrofa farming operation he has founded is attracting attention worldwide, along with growing interest from the local media. These handfuls of beans could soon be the future of energy. They come from Chatrofa plants. Once a machine presses the beans, the oil that comes out is collected in jars. It's called biodiesel fuel. It's clean and renewable. Farmer Mike Reardon works here with the dedication of a man with a goal to grow his operation into a major player in green energy. This is the next step to get us off of foreign oil and clean our air. Farm investor Adam Cancellari. I think the timing has got to be now for people like us to step up and do something different to show a new way to farm and grow biofuel. Recently, Farming Biodiesel Incorporated hosted the first of its kind Chatrofa Conference and Expo. The seminars and workshops featured presentations from soil and farm science experts, South American farming organizations, a demonstration of processing and storage options, plus impressive new technology such as this automated harvesting equipment. Keynote speaker Richard Palmer shared his real-world expertise and wealth of knowledge. We're a biofuels feedstock company and we own three biofuels farms, energy farms in Latin America, two of which are in Mexico, one of which is in Belize. And our goal is really to develop very cost-effective feedstocks that are non-food based for the biofuels industry. This is uh, Jutroph oil. Um, it's essentially cold pressed and what we'll call twice filtered. You know, this is a very new plant and there's a lot of hype around this plant in the marketplace. The idea of just dropping seeds in the ground and it will produce all of this oil is just a misnomer. You have to apply very modern agricultural techniques to this plant and if done so then you'll get very good yields. We farm about 95 million acres of corn every year. They clear the land, they plant the land, they harvest the land, and then they do it again the next year. If you take a look at Jatropha, you know, Jatropha is a perennial. It means that you plant it once, and that perennial will be there for 30, 40, 50 years. The difference is the Jatropha does not affect food price. When you take a fuel and you add in a commodity that should be consumed as food, now you have two different conflicts. The thing about green energy, right now the field is wide open. Anyone can get involved. Anyone that has an idea. One farm, 20,000 hectares, 50,000 acres, will produce 15 million gallons. Governmental agencies, federal agencies, you know, everybody that has a diesel appetite will take any, everything that we can produce. Tetrofa and the promise of growing an oil field above the ground is a global gift. At its core, a special energy. Farming Biodiesel Incorporated is working hard to harness that energy. A simple and noble goal so that people and the planet will prosper. And the future? Next year I'd like to be sitting here with Mr. Obama across from The long-term goal of the farm is to take it to scale. I mean, the 300 acres that we're on now is the showroom. Time is now and we can't wait. There's no better place than Desert Center to make something uh, on a viable scale out here. I tell a lot of people it's like the field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. Because this is my new passion. We want to keep it simple. We're farming bio diesel.